Today's home workout with your online trainer, Lucy Windham Reed, is a little bit different. I'm going to bring you some magic. Now, today we are going to do an 11 minute light cardio workout. But first of all, I just wanted to say that this video that I've put together for you is my gift to you because the most important gift we can give anyone is health and that's where I feel so lucky on my YouTube channel that I'm able to help keep you all healthy and fit at home and especially this year I've wanted to do it more than ever because we all need to invest in our future health. So I've put together something super magical for you. I want to bring a little bit of joy in these tough times. Um, so we're going to go on an adventure um, but there are a couple of things that I need before we start this workout. So first of all I need because it's going to be really cold where we're going. I need a bubble hat. Okay, and also I'm going to need some gloves. Okay, so there's only other one thing I need, and that is a winter wonderland. Can I do that? Yes, I can. Here we go, on the count of three. Let's go one, two, and three. So here we are in winter wonderland. So for the first 60 seconds, let's just go for doing a basic a warm up. So what I want you to do is just a march on the spot for me and just give me a few shoulder rolls. So this first minute is all about just warming up, getting ready for the workout ahead. And what you'll see is every 15 seconds, you'll just see how long you've got left to do on each move. So let me just quickly explain how today's workout is gonna work. We've got 11 different scenes each scene we've got a slightly different cardio move so we've got 30 seconds to go and it's going to be a full body workout so while you're marching now just focus on doing this with good form for me so land nice and softly keep your upper body nice and straight and it's always a really good idea to focus on keeping those tummy muscles pulled in you've got 15 seconds to go land nice and softly with your feet so this one is all just about warming up and then we're going to go straight on to scene number two. So for this one, what I want you to do is do a double knee lift and take your opposite hand to the knee. So you'll see when that 60 seconds starts. So for this one, again, just doing this now for one minute. So it's double knee and then opposite hand to knee. And again, focus on keeping your upper body nice and straight. Keep those tummy muscles pulled in. So it's that double knee lift and just taking that hand over. You've got 45 seconds to go and this is move number two. And the great thing is with this workout, you can come back and do this again. And another time, once you know the routine, what you could do is turn down the volume and just put on your favorite music and do the workout to this. So you've got 30 seconds. So it's double knee and just take that hand across. So if you think about this one, we're working your lower body, we're working your abdominals, and you're also working through the upper body by using your arms as well. All right, we've got last few seconds coming up, then we're going straight on to scene number three. And just land that foot nice and softly. Okay, so for the next move, we're gonna do a side bend one side, then to the other, then simply go a straight leg kick and then take it back to a side bend, side bend, straight leg kick. So this one here, we're really working through your core and working through the legs. You've got 60 seconds to go. Side and side, give me that straight leg kick and just bend from one side to the other, straight leg, straight leg. And this one here is really good at working through the internal and external obliques. You've got 45 seconds to go and it's really good at helping develop hamstring flexibility. And when you do that side bend, just make sure that you keep that upper body so you're not leaning forwards, neither leaning back. You're just going down from one side to the other. So take it over and over, then give me that straight leg kick again. And you'll find the more you do this, the more flexible you become. All right, that's good. And you've got last 15 seconds, then we're moving that straight on to the next scene. Straight leg, straight leg, and just go one side to the other. Okay, so for the next one, 
This one now, we're gonna do a lateral move. So you're just gonna take the foot out to the side and just take that arm and just imagine you're sweeping that arm out to the side. You've got 60 seconds to go from this one. And if you want to make it harder, just make that move more dynamic. So take that leg further out to the side and just imagine with your arms that you're pushing something back. So again on here, this is really nice. You're working through the shoulders joint, you're working through your elbows, you're working through your knees, your hips. So it's a lovely full body motion movement. All right, that's good. And reach it across and back. So you've got 30 seconds to go. And again with this one, it's a really nice one to just travel around the room, make the most of the space that you've got. All right, that's good, nice control. And last 15 seconds. And this one, you'll feel this working laterally through the legs, you'll feel it working through the waist and through the arms. Last few seconds coming up. And then we're going on to scene five. So for this one, what we're gonna do is, you're gonna do toe taps in front, so you do 10 of these and then what we do is we then do a tiny little squat. So again, we're doing this one for 60 seconds. So just start when you're ready. So let's start now and do a squat and now give me 10 toe taps. So you're just gently pointing that toe in front, extending the leg straight and then you're taking it. Once you've done your 10, then you're taking it into that very small squat for me. That's good. You've got 40 seconds to go. So do it in your own time. So it doesn't matter if you're not in time with me, just count yourself doing 10 toe taps and then that tiny small squat. And remember when we're doing a squat, it's important that we always keep the weight through your heels. Don't let those knees come over the line of the toes. So it's that tiny squat every time you've done your 10 toe taps. So we are already nearly halfway through this workout today. So it's gonna fly by. I wanna make it fun, but still keep it really effective for you. That's good, doing really well. So tap that foot in front. Once you've done your 10, then go for doing that tiny little squat. Okay, so for the next exercise, this one, we're just gonna do a side traveling toe tap. So literally, you're just traveling from one side to the other step that across so you're doing 60 seconds now if you want to make it harder you can bend slightly into a slightly deeper squat and step that out wider and you've got 45 seconds to go and remember one of the best things that we can do every single day is just move our bodies because this is how we're investing in our future health so it's that side tap you've got 30 seconds to go just travel that from one side to the other so you've got that slight bend in the knees. If you want to make it harder, step it wider and come into a slightly deeper squat. And this is a really good lateral move to work the inner and the outer thighs as well. All right, that's good. So we've just got last few seconds coming up, then we're moving straight on to scene number seven. And travel that from one side to the other. Okay, so for this next move, we're gonna step behind, behind, and then side and side. So step behind, behind, and then take it from one side to the other. So this one, again, full body move. You've got 60 seconds. So step that foot behind, and then reach it from one side to the other, and you're gonna push through with the arms as well. So it's a really nice full body move. We're working through the glutes, we're working through the thighs, you're working your arms, and you're working your waist and your abs as well. That's good, side and side, and then step that back, and reach out from one side to the other. And again with this one, still focus on keeping those tummy muscles pulled in tight. You've got less than 30 seconds to go. So it's side to side and then tap that back. Really good, keeping that going, push in front, in front, and then reach out one side to the other. So again here, 15 seconds, another full body move, doing really well. Reach out one side and tap that back. And again, feel that through the waist, push those arms in front as you tap that back and from one side to the other. 
All right, so for the next move, this time now, one of my favorite moves, we're gonna do that skater's lunge. So we just step that foot back and you draw the arms in at the same time. So this is a really good, lovely cardio move. It's gonna get the heart rate up. You've got 60 seconds on this one. And think about where you're working. We're working near enough every single joint here. You're working your elbows, your shoulders, your hip, your knees, ankles. So we are literally working near enough every single muscle through your body. You've got 45 seconds to go. And with this one, if you want to make it more dynamic, do it a little bit faster and take that foot. When you take it behind, take it deeper back and take it wider. 30 seconds from now. All right, that's good, and keeping that going. And this is a really nice workout you can get the whole family involved in. And I wanted to make it magical, I wanted to make it a lovely winter wonderland workout. So less than 10 seconds to go from now. And just go from one side to the other. Keep landing softly, doing really well. So for this move, this is a really fun one, you can choose. So you can either do light jogging, or if you want to, simply keep that to a march. You're gonna do that for a count of 10, and then you're gonna do four twists going from one side to the other. So you choose the intensity. You've got 60 seconds from now. So either do it as a light jog or a march on the spot. Once you've done it for a count of 10, then simply rotate. Now, when you're doing those twists, make sure you keep those hips facing forwards for me. Land softly. You've got 45 seconds to go. So we've nearly finished today's workout and just think you have just invested in your future health. You are getting fitter and stronger. All right, four twists and then take that back to either that light jog or that march on the spot. You've got 30 seconds to go. Doing really well. And just land nice and softly with those feet. Then give me that twist again. Make sure those hips are staying nice and still. And always when you do that twist, make sure you keep those knees slightly soft as well. All right, that's good. And twist that from one side to the other, four counts, and then just bring that back, land softly, and we are now done on that move. So for this one now, we're gonna rework really your coordination. You're gonna step in front, side, and behind. Step in front, side, behind. Now perhaps just get used to doing the leg movement. When you're ready, you can add in the arms. So we're doing that for 60 seconds. You tap it in front, side, and behind. In front, side and behind. So where this is really good is I'm also really focusing you working your mind and body connection. And this is where what we call this sort of exercise is called agility and also known as motor skills. And it really gets your mind thinking and making your mind and body alert and connecting together. That's good. So let's just keep that going. So it's tap in front to the side and behind. You've got last 30 seconds to go. We've nearly finished today's workout. That's good. Tap in front and behind. And this one here, working the arms. So again, think about all the joints we're working. You're working your knees, your hips, you're working your shoulders and your elbows. You've got last 15 seconds from now. Tap in front, side and behind. All right, that's good. Nearly finished on this, and then we are on the final scene. So we've got the last minute coming up. So for this now, take it back to that side tap. So you're going from one side to the other. And if you want to make it harder, just travel that across the room even faster. Take it into a slightly deeper bend for me. So today's workout is all about having fun. It's been a crazy year this year. I just wanted to give you something that was just a bit of a winter wonderland. You've got 45 seconds to go. And as your online trainer, I just wanted to say to you the most important thing that we all have is our health. All right, that's good. Let's just keep that going. Tap that from one side to the other. So you've just got 30 seconds left. And always remember, every time you exercise, you are investing in your future health. So I've got a little surprise for you, and I need you to get ready to jump to catch something. So go three, two, and one.
and just march it out for me. And as your online trainer, the best gift I can give you is health. So just carry on marching and I'm just gonna explain a little bit more on the last part of this video. So I hope you enjoyed that workout. Now, I always do one of these. That is your high five. And what is really important is remember that every time you exercise, you are investing in your future health. And that's why exercise really is the best gift that you can give your body. So what I would say, if you haven't already, definitely subscribe to my channel. If you like this video, please definitely give it a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments as well. And right at the end of the video, I'm gonna leave up in the corner, I'm gonna leave a little link so you can come and do a full cool down stretch with me. But let's not forget, keep investing in your future health. Stay safe, everyone. And also, if you like this video, do share it with your friends and family. And I'll see you again on my channel very, very soon.